The inside of the Valentine is quite pleasant. Uh, it's nice and light and airy. There's quite a few cupboards. Uh, we've got three over the sofa area. Then we've got two over the the fridge and what is a, a work surface. And then we've got uh, two over the kitchen. Uh, let's sink it with a mixer tap. Obviously we've got hot and cold. The four burner cooktop. We've got the grill and we've got the oven. And I've got under storage for pans in the bottom cupboard. Nice to have separate grill and oven because I like to do cooking. Um, plenty of space down this end as well. We've got the under the sink which I keep uh, plates they got a lovely massive big knife drawer. I mean look at the size of this. You know you can store an awful lot of bits and pieces in there. And then we have the two under the under the sink as it were where I keep all the other bits and pieces that's required on site. And when we're out and about for the day. A uh, lovely fridge in it. It's a different fridge to what I'm used to. Uh, it's got a a light in this one every when it comes on it's the three-way we have the battery the electric the gas and when it's either on gas or on electric or on battery um, we got there's a light comes on in the fridge which are quite light big ice box right across it uh, we've, we've, we've done driving and it keeps it nice and cold we've had it on gas uh, running on gas because I do a lot of gas um, camping. I do a lot of temporary holiday sites with the camping and caravan club, so you don't want an electric hookup. And I've managed to get that ice box down to minus 22 with just on the gas. Now uh, we've got the my junk cupboard. It's a nice one because it opens over the top of my glass. I, I don't have to worry about my glass in the vista. I have to move my glass each time I open the cupboard. This is really brilliant don't have to move the glass. So anyway, we've got my junk cupboard and uh, got my bits and pieces. I, I, I like to have bits and pieces lying around me when I'm motor roaming. Got the bank of switches. But nice and airy and roomy inside. Cupboard's on this side above the other sofa. There's a little switch under here, the electric switch there, and that operates a couple of lights in here on an evening uh, very ambient type lighting uh, front seat swivel firm I put the dash trim in I bought on eBay it went on very easy I did as, as the instructions said clean the area where it was going to stick with white spirit use the hair dryer to warm the surface up and to warm the what's it called the transfer I don't know, whatever it is called, warm that up and it's stuck on very nicely. I put my reversing camera on, wired that to the side lights again. I like I like my reversing cameras on the side lights. So when I want to back in anywhere, or even if when I'm traveling and I want to use the camera, I just put the side lights on. This one, we've got a very large mirror here. And then we go into the bathroom. So in here, We have mirrors all round. I'll try and stay out of the picture. Um, nice sink. Mixer tap again. We have the shower. And uh, we have roof lights. This gives it a nice effect. As well as ventilation. We have the, vent, the window to vent. And we also have the skylight event. Uh, this is handy, the blind comes up, so for privacy you can just bring it a, a small way. Uh, electric flush uh, that takes its water from the holding tank of fresh water on the vehicle. So you don't have to fill the flush separately anymore on this one, like I did on the other. That just takes the water from storage tank. Uh, shower tray down there and shower curtain up here. All in all, it's a very pleasant bathroom. Uh, 
loads of storage in the middle. Uh, with wardrobe, with uh, two drawers beneath the wardrobe, and then we have the heating unit, which is a, a, a gas operated convector type heater. It's also got a blower facility. Uh, there's a vent, uh, two vents under the sofa. There's a vent in the front there behind the driver's seat, and there's also a vent in the bathroom. So you, you can blow warm air around the vehicle. Wardrobe. Quite a roomy wardrobe. Especially after the uh, auto sleeper symbol I had. That was a, a shoe box compared to this. So we have room for storage shelving. Got room for the freestanding table which I love a freestanding table. You can take it outside, you can move it around inside the van. Then ones where you put a post into the floor and set the tabletop on it. You can't move them. Plenty of room for hanging clothing. Mass, as I say, massive wardrobe. Uh, I keep my shopping bags in here because we use this vehicle to go shopping. We have um, drawer space and then more drawer space. So it, we've really got a load and a load of storage. We've got under the bed storage there. That's also housing the water pump. But everything and the gas locker comes in over in this corner because the gas locker is just behind the driver's door on the outside. This one, this side, there's no access here. But you can lift it up if you so wish. But all the access for it is through the outside for storing your outside gear. I'll show you that now. So the access locker that you see on the outside is down in there. This is inside the vehicle with the bed lifted. But all this access is from outside. And I love this because I've got room for me two chairs which is here. I feed them in through the hole and up it to here. Now when I had the Vista I had to stow these in my wardrobe. I have no room for them. I've got my awning carpet. I've got my ramps for, for leveling out on site. Up here we got the electric cable, we've got the water hose, box of goodies, uh, ledger battery down under this, this white plastic thing here. That goes down into the floor. There's a, a, a little well down in there where I keep all my pieces of wood that I ride on, on when it's on a muddy muddy grass to save me sinking overnight. I always put um, some planks under my wheels. If I'm level, I use the planks under my wheels. If I need to use the ramps on either, any of the wheels, I put planks under the other wheels. Just stops you sinking overnight. But as I say, there's no access hatch on the inside. Uh, that's all accessed from outside or through this, um, the top of this bedding, which, and this is how it works. Uh, to make it into a double bed or if you're going to make it into a single bed and you only want it out to line up with the seat uh, you can just pull it this far it's got adjustable screws on the leg so you if you've got the carpet out obviously you're going to be sloping down a bit more so you can drop the foot down a little bit which I, that's a little feature I think it's very nice other little features you know around the bottom of the seat in here um, it's got like a little, a little pocket. They got pockets on the back of the seat in. Uh, they got these little trim, trim pieces, and it's quite very nice. I think it's all right. Uh, what we have in here, which is another nice feature that I like, is uh, we have. I don't know what you want to call it, but it can go in this end, as that one has there, and then we have this roly poly on a piece of wood which sits in there so it makes it makes a very comfortable sofa somewhere to put your elbow somewhere to lean somewhere to put your head when you lie down very nice and they just simply slide in like that it just makes makes for a good sofa 
makes for a comfortable seating area. And if you want to put your feet somewhere, take that one out, spin the seat round, like that, and you've got somewhere you can have a, a lie down in the afternoon between two and four <laughs> which is very good and then also I pulled the bed out a little bit as you can see to line up so there's your single bed should you require two single beds wow oh, look at me towel on the floor take no notice of that that's singles obviously you're going to remove this to put your pillow here the, these this one and the other board and the other two when I take the bedding out from up there I put them in there overnight they're out of the way makes the van em an empty place to get out of bed and should you require to go to the bathroom in, in the night time you've got a nice lot of walking space nothing to trip over but that's how you have a lie down in the afternoon or if you want to sleep singly on a night time it has blinds and fly screens and I like these blinds uh, as opposed to the ones in the Vista because they these come up so you can still have them up and look out of a little bit quite like that and obviously got the fly screens and they're on all the windows got fly screen and uh, blackout up here blackout moves across fly, sc fly screen comes across and as I say this is you, you just lift and slide backwards I'm doing it one-handed there you go and that's it open I think I quite like that better than the wind-up ones but I've not used it much yet so we'll see but, uh, just lift it and slide it back lock it down we've got lighting uh, this light here works in conjunction with the switch bottom switch there top switch is the awning light on the outside or the side or the step light that's the electric step the the bottom switch step so you can have this, this light on all the time on this switch and then you can operate it from that switch and then we have lighting uh, all the way around with these small spotlights they go all the way around um, I've not used it yet uh, on battery only using the spotlights on an evening to see how it fares um, I may have to change them to the LEDs I don't know yet we'll see we have the gas water heater here which is the conventional one that everybody knows the, the black dial sets the temperature the silver dial turns it on and off and you have to have your water cover off on the outside uh, to make it operate uh, turning the fridge on is the same this is a little, slightly different you don't have the, the little glass in the fridge anymore I have this red line that comes up into the green to say my gas is lit as soon as I put this one onto gas the igniter starts clicking you push this one in and, it, and hold it until the flame stays lit the onboard water supply for my valentine um, I have one of these fittings on the outside of the van uh, this this is direct directly to my hose and there's no electrical connection because I'm not pumping anything I'm sending it in through the main supply I do have this one which is uh, electrically active to operate the pump I can fill my onboard water tank from an aqua roll or similar using this pump as the the, the caravans do so that that's an, uh, I like that system it means that if I'm, I'm on site and I run out of water I don't have to decamp to go over to the hose to fill up I can actually bring an aqua roll to my van and fill it with this system and and I have my external pump and I have my internal pump so I'm on internal at the moment for onboard water in the van but if I go to external that will activate the pump that you've just seen when I put it into an aqua roll thus bringing fresh water on board I've put my locks on I bought these 
um, a, a while back off of eBay because um, I knew I was getting one of these and I wanted some deadlocks on. So what I've done, you can see it's uh, it's fitted just there, and to operate, you simply with this one, it's slightly different to what I had before. You push this in, so there's a, like a spring loaded. You push it in, turn it, and it brings the deadlock across. Now, if you so wish, you can you can lock it with a key. If you know if you don't want to, then it won't open until you depress it again and then turn it. So they just they just simply fitted into there into there. You take these two out, slide the unit behind, and then do them I up added again. Some of me personal items, just things I collect from around the country, uh, different places I go, places I've been. So I hope you like the new Valentine as much as I do. Uh, it might give you an insight into it if, you, if you're thinking of getting one. This is a 2004. And I love all these cupboards. Massive amount of cupboards. Nice to have somewhere to store stuff. Okay. Cheers now.